Hey, and welcome back. Let's implement our Google sign-in feature. But first, there's one more function that I forgot to write in our previous lesson. So back into VS Code, let's open up our register component. And the function is handle reset right here. Let's copy that and then navigate to our profile component. And then let's paste it right here. And then we want to also output it here right after when the user update their password. So handle reset. What this will do is when the user update their password, it will clear out the password field when they click submit. All right, there's one thing that we need to tweak and let's remove this line. Now let's give it a quick save. Now let's work on our Google sign in feature. The first thing we want to do is add a new package. So let's open up the terminal. I would open another one. Let's cd into our client folder and then add this new package called react google login. Press enter. All right, cool. I will close the terminal and now let's open our sidebar and locate our client folder. We want to create a new .env file. So .env and we want to pass in our Google client ID. So let's open the .env in our server folder. This one and copy our client ID, which is here. Now back to the client.env, let's paste that in. But this file is different because it's in React. So our key name must begin with React underscore app underscore again. Now let's give it a quick save. And then we will also need to restart our server. All right, back to VS Code. I will close the terminal and the sidebar. Let's navigate to our login component. The first thing we want to do is import in our package. So let's say import Google login from React Google login. Now let's scroll down to our buttons right here. Let's cut this line to our clipboard and then use the Google login. It will be a self closing tag. Next, we want to use a render prop because we want to use our custom button. So let's say render equal, and then let's say render props. It will render out our button. So paste our button back in right here. And then in our button, we need to pass a on click and then it will be render prop on click. Next, we also need to use a disable prop and then say render prop disable. All right, after this, there are a few default options that we have to pass in. And the first is cookie policy. We want to set that to single underscore host underscore origin. After this, we will need an on success. So if the Google sign in was a success, it will fire this function. And let's name it Google success. And then we will also need the on failure. And let's fire a function called Google error. All right, let's define those function starting with Google success. So I will scroll up here. Let's output it here. So cons Google success, it will be an async function. Let's set up our try and catch block. Let's output our toast error. So error response data message and then our options class name toast failed and then body class name also toast failed. Now to our try block. But before that we will need the Google token ID. So if the Google sign in was a success, Google will give us a token ID and we want to get that first. So let's say cons token will be response token ID. And then we will need to take in the response right here. All right, now to our try block, we want to call our endpoint. So await axios dot post. And the endpoint was forward slash API forward slash auth 
forward slash Google underscore sign in. After this, we will need to pass in the token. So token ID will be the token. Next, we will need to set our local storage. So local storage, set item. And the item name is underscore app sign in. And we want to set that to true. And then after this, we will call our dispatch. And our type will be sign in. All right, now to our Google error function. So let's say cons Google error. It will just be a regular error function. And then we just want to use our toast error message. And then say there was an error signing in. Please try again later. After this, our options. Let's copy these lines and then paste it here. All right, there's one more thing that we forgot and it's down in our button. We need to pass in our Google client ID. So let's say client ID will be process.env.react underscore app underscore g underscore client and then underscore id now let's give this a quick save and then test it out in our front end let's do a hard reload and then use our google sign in all right everything is working correctly and this will also wrap up the lesson and i'll see you in the next lesson